Hello and welcome to We Will Crypto, your daily dose of crypto news. I'm your host, Anonymous, and today we'll dive into the latest headlines impacting the world of digital assets. In today's episode, we'll cover Bitcoin's price reaction to U.S. inflation numbers, the crypto community's hope for the Biden-Trump debate, the potential for Ethereum spot ETFs to attract billions, and Solana's innovative tools for social media integration. Remember, this podcast is for informative purposes only and is not financial advice. Let's get started. U.S. inflation numbers impact Bitcoin price trends. On June 26, Bitcoin experienced a 1.61% decline, reversing some gains from the previous day. The uncertainty surrounding the Federal Reserve's interest rate decision continues to weigh on Bitcoin and the broader crypto market. The probability of the Fed holding rates steady increased from 33% to 37.2% on Wednesday as the market braces for the upcoming U.S. Personal Income and Outlays Report. This report, due on June 28th, could shape expectations for a potential September rate cut. If inflation numbers exceed expectations, the likelihood of a Q3 rate cut diminishes, potentially impacting demand for riskier assets like Bitcoin. Despite the dip, the U.S. Bitcoin spot ETF market saw a second consecutive session of net inflows, hinting at a possible push towards 70000 Our second story, Crypto Insiders Hope for a Debate Mention. As President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump prepare to debate on June 27th, the crypto community is eager to hear their stances on digital assets. This marks the first presidential election where cryptocurrencies have emerged as a significant policy issue. The advocacy group Stand With Crypto has launched a letter-writing campaign to urge CNN to include crypto-related questions in the debate. The industry's progress in gaining political recognition is notable, with both candidates having distinct views on digital assets. Biden's administration has been proactive in regulating the sector, while Trump has recently shown support for crypto mining and opposition to a central bank digital currency, or CBDC. A debate on these issues could further educate voters and shape the future of U.S. crypto regulation. In our third story, Ethereum spot ETFs could attract $15 billion by 2025. The anticipated launch of spot Ethereum ETFs in the U.S. could significantly boost the market. Bitwise CIO Matt Hoogan predicts that these ETFs could attract $15 billion in net inflows by the end of 2025. This optimism is based on a comparison of Ethereum's market cap to Bitcoin's, the performance of international crypto ETP markets, and the expected approval of these products on major platforms. The approval of spot Ethereum ETFs by the SEC could begin as early as July 2nd, with firms like Van Eck already filing necessary documentation. The influx of capital into Ethereum ETFs could solidify Ethereum's position in the market, aligning its investment appeal closer to that of Bitcoin. And for our last story, Solana's new tools for social media integration. Solana is making waves with the introduction of Actions and Blinks, new features designed to simplify crypto transactions on social media and websites. These tools, developed in partnership with Dialect, allow users to execute on-chain transactions directly from their favorite platforms, enhancing the accessibility of blockchain technology. Solana has become a hub for meme coins, with projects like Iggy Azalea's Mother Token and Dog With Hat gaining significant attention. By integrating blockchain functionality into everyday applications, Solana aims to drive Main Street adoption and streamline the user experience for new and seasoned crypto enthusiasts alike. And that's all for today's episode of We Will Crypto. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to subscribe for more updates. If you enjoyed the podcast, please leave a review and share it with your friends. Stay informed, stay invested, and we'll see you next time on We Will Crypto. Hello and welcome.